for the launching of awareness workshop on e-services. Today, the, service, the performance of a state or country is often measured in terms of quality of IT services and electronic transactions. And through the cooperation extended by all sections of society, including our ever family media, the electronic transaction of the state of Nagaland is next to the state of Assam in the northeastern region. And this is very significant because the geographical size and population of Assam is very much higher than the state of Nagaland and among the northeastern states, ranking second is quite significant. As we all know, in COVID pandemic era, telecom services have become extremely important and quality, good quality of telecom services comes only through good connectivity. In the state of Nagaland, Due to difficult terrain, inclement weather conditions, and other factors, it is a big challenge to lay op underground optical fibers. And therefore, the state is slowly moving towards aerial optical fiber connectivity along power transmission lines and wireless connectivity. However, some telecom operators are still going ahead with underground optical fiber laying, which requires right of way permissions. Even the aerial optical fiber connectivity along power transmission lines, there's a need for all the telecom operators to obtain right-of-way permission from the state government. To facilitate giving quick permission, the state of Nagaland have, have, has already brought a comprehensive right-of-way policy in December 2019, and operators are already utilizing that policy. And today, a portal has also been set up to speed up giving right-of-way permission to telecom operators. The Department of IDLC have also enabled quite a few number of e-services in the state. I'll just read out. One is online ST certificates used by district administration. Online ST certificates reuse district administration. Online backward tribe certificates, also used by district administration. Online backward tribe certificate reissue, also by district administration. An issue of birth certificate by the Department of Economic and Statistics. Issue of date certificate by the Department of Economic and Statistics. Issue of birth certificate reissue, that also by the Department of Economic and Statistics. NPSC is also using our online services for NPSC examination, NPSC admin card, all are using our services. Then registration in employment exchange is used by the Department of Employment Exchange. Registration in employment re exchange renewal also by the Department of Employment. Transfer of employment exchange registration by Department of Employment. Then this examination application by Commissioner Office, admin card reissued by Commissioner Office, and more are in the pipeline. In a tribal society like ours, it is not easy to migrate to a new system. And as such, we are organizing awareness program now and then to make people comfortable with the new online services. It is indeed a matter of great joy for the Department of IT and C to launch the right-of-way online portal and also bring yet another set of IT services to the people of Nagaland. And through this small yet significant initiative, we hope, wish and pray that we will slowly but gradually move closer and closer to work towards making the state of Nagaland the next IT hub of Southeast Asia. With these few words, I will once online e service since that we are heavily from IT department is in the form of a state technical scholarship scheme, which is meant for diploma, UG, PG engineering students. I would like to share a few words of experiments our department have had so far. <clears throat> Back in the days, as we are all are aware, applying for scholarship was quite time consuming and inconvenient. Practically speaking, we 
With the coming of e-services, it has become a lot more easier and the completion of processes can be done in just one city. The Department of Technical Education with the help of uh, IT department has gone one step further. That is doing away with any form of hard copy submission to encourage paperless transaction. And all the processes are being handled by e-services portal, such as registration, document upload, verification, and approval. E-services has really helped the user department like us, the Department of Technical Education, in achieving transparency and accountability, error handling, duplication of scholarships, and with good governance tool like RTI, report generation has become very essential for the department. Such as department correspondence, inter-department inter correspondence, coordinating with the departments, queries from the government, or assembly queries, all these things are at our disposal at just one click with the help of e-services. So with these few words, I would like to thank the government of Nova, <coughs> Department of IT and C, Development Team, Younger and C, for making e-services a reality in our state. Thank you. Of B. 
B. The online portal has been developed by processing of applications and issuing of permission by the nodal officers and approving authority under the same guidelines. Now, in pursuance to the uh, notified guidelines, in the, the state right away online portal has been developed with the objective to ease the process for obtaining permits and bring transparency, accountability and responsiveness to all stakeholders while processing the application for telecom infrastructure permissions in Nagaland. All physical forms presently available for the identified services will be made accessible to applicants as e-forms through the portal. As a result, the applicant will be able to fill the form online and submit it electronically. Today, I am happy to say that we have achieved another milestone in our e-governance journey as we launch the right-of-way online portal today. I would like to also congratulate all the officers who were instrumental in making this happen and also acknowledge the visionary leadership provided by our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nifuro Rio. He has always been supportive in the journey of our department to ensure that e-governance is the basis for the way forward for the state of Nagaland. Now on the workshop on e-services, we've had two officers from different departments providing their initial experience with the service provided under e-district and e-services. I would like to highlight a few of the achievements and also uh, the milestones that we have crossed in the state of Nagaland. Under as you all know, the e-district portal, 16 e-services are live with the Nagaland Public Service Commission used most extensively, which shows an in increment of 37% in NPAC online transactions since 2018. Initially, there were some glitches, but I'm happy to say that our department officers were always prompt and quick enough to ensure that those glitches are addressed. So that is another uh, example of how we have in-house technical experts to address those glitches. Number two, a total of 21,660 online ILB applications have been received through the online ILB portal for all categories of applicants. For instance, domestic tourists, foreign tourists, laborers, teachers, students, traders, business and others. And this is remarkable because we have made this service available and people are already availing of these services. So in terms of user interface, we have seen an increase in the number. A total of 1.8 lakh scholarship applications have been processed through a single window for all state scholarships, showing 20% increase in online scholarship applications. This has made availing the scholarship for students easier and, and ensured that there is no hardship for students to avail the scholarship. It is also because of the uh, criteria laid down ensure that we give the scholarship to the deserving students. So it has enabled the government to address that problem effectively. As per the records of the government of India, the state of Nagaland has shown an increase of 38% in, uh, in overall digital transactions in the state since 2007. So it's a huge increase. We're hoping that uh, with digital literacy increasing, the increase will happen in the years to come. 
with the inclusion of high transaction volume of uh, services like ST certificates, a BT certificates, burden date certificates, employment exchange registration cards. I believe that the usage of online services will increase exponentially and citizens of the state shall benefit in terms of time, effort and cost. Finally, in the light of all this development, in the light of all this progress, I would therefore like to request all the user departments in Nagaland to extensively harness the benefits of information technology in providing various government services to citizens to enable the state government to move towards a vibrant digital governance. With this, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Leader, our source of strength and we'll try our best to live up to your expectation. Now, my colleagues, media friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure and honor to propose the vote of thanks today. I, on behalf of the Department of IT and C, extend a very hard with your presence. I must place on record and mention our gratitude and appreciation to our honorable advisor, honorable ceremony for giving us this time. A little bit about the right of way portal and the existing e-services that we have. As Sir has mentioned earlier in his speech, the pandemic has taught us one thing, and that is you cannot live in islands in this digital world. The pandemic has helped us realize that using technology, we can communicate, we can avail our services seamlessly, and the dependence on telecommunication, internet, for these service delivery channels has increased exponentially in the last few years. So, with that in mind, the government of India wants to plan out uh, a database through which uh, they can make efficient plans for improving connectivity and telecommunications in the state. So, the right of way portal was actually devised from the Nagaland right-of-way guidelines issued in 2019 for enabling our creation of a digital database of all telecom infrastructure in the state of Nagaland. Using this database, the, the government can use it for speedy and clear decision-making based on area of coverage, lack of uh, telecom coverage, air sectors, etc. And the, the database would enable the government to improve connectivity in the state. And once connectivity improves, more and more digital services can be accessed by citizens of Nagaland. The Nagaland right of way guidelines The Nagaland Right of Way Guidelines, it's a set of procedures for applying for permissions, for scrutiny of applications and for approvals. And the Right of Way portal of the government of Nagaland has a single platform. The nodal department as per the guideline is the department of IT and C and all district Deputy Commissioners are the District Nodal Officers for scrutinizing and approving such applications. The services available on the right-of-way portal are permission for overground telegraph and telecom infrastructure like rooftop towers or ground-based towers. The state right-of-way portal and enables online application forms. It has an integrated payment gateway where 
through which the various applicants can directly make their payments of fees. The, it has centralized dashboards for both applicants, the approving authorities and the government to monitor the process of online applications. And then it also provides real-time application tracking so that the people who apply, they know at what stage their application lies. And this also enables the government functionaries to take timely decisions to ensure that pending uh, pendency is not very high. And we issue digital permits with QR codes which can be verified at any point of time. So the authenticity of those documents issued from the R of the portal can be authenticated. And this portal is also integrated with the central right-of-way portal of the government of India. Now moving on to the bouquet of uh, e-services that the Department of IT in collaboration with all of uh, various line departments have brought and made life so far. As Sir has mentioned earlier, 21,660 ILP applications have been processed since November 2019. And the categories of ILP, domestic tourists, foreign tourists, laborers, priests, teachers, students, traders and businessmen, and guarantors have recently been added to the portfolio of ILP. The e-district portal, as Sir has mentioned earlier, we have developed 37 services in total, out of which 16 services are currently live, and we are actively testing the services of uh, Department of Employment, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, and the district administration services so that these services can be made available in a short time to the citizens of the state. Then we have a total of 328 CACs in Nagaland. These CACs act as the delivery channels for government and uh, other business services to the citizens. We request all departments here to actively use our CACs for delivery of their services. Uh, this is a snapshot that uh, we would like to show. This is a showcase of the exponential growth that e-services and as Sir has mentioned, we we have a 38% increase in overall state transactions since 2017. And during the pandemic time, in a short data request, including download of uh, COVID results, uh, issuing visitors, we encourage all line departments to identify citizen-centric services of their departments and bring them online. And we will extend all possible technical support to these departments in ensuring that your services are made online. Thank you. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dimapur viewers, we are on channel number 10 in Global Chapter. And for Kohima and Mokokchung viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.